this museum, I think, shows the worst of humanity on that day, but in the immediate aftermath, the stories that fill this institution will remind people how we can come together. The artifacts that we have really span an amazing spectrum from monumental pieces of steel that show the very point of impact when Flight 11 first hit the North Tower down to the much more personal artifacts that really bring to light that these people were people just like you and me. We have a section actually where we show several shoes, high heels that women had. And you know what happened then was women running out of the building, taking off their high heels so that they could run faster to safety. You know, in some ways it's easier to ask what challenges weren't part of this project because really on every level, from an emotional standpoint, from a financial standpoint, there's been lots of complexities. At the end of the day though, I think the most difficult and most important part of our work was deciding what story, what narrative we were going to express to our visitors. Choices about bringing the lives of the victims to the fore, having people understand that 2,983 is not just a number, that these are people behind those numbers. Um, and people seeing themselves in those people that died is so important if we're going to prevent something like this from ever happening again. I think some of our choices on content needed to be bold. One of the mandates we had to live up to in our minds was to tell the objective truth of what happened here. That means identifying who attacked us on that day. While that seems like an easy choice, if you think about where we are on the very spot where so many people died and more than 1,100 families never got any human remains back to bury, it is sensitive, any choice we make. We think that there is a genuine obligation for every single American at some point in their lives to come visit this museum, to see the story of how we took an incredible blow in these attacks and how this country responded in the aftermath. It is a story that will live for as long as this nation lives.